Hey beautiful people, welcome back to Two Cents Beat. My name is Sadi and today I am back with more Dr. Elise, the royal lady with the lamp. Which we still don't know what that with the lamp means. We know about her doctor part because that was pretty much the entirety of last episode was just <sighs> really emphasizing how amazing of a doctor she became in her second life. It's like very ingrained in my head that she is like a top tier surgeon slash doctor. And I guess we kind of know about the royal lady because at the end of last episode she was reincarnated into what seems to be a noble household, so it's not that far of a stretch to assume she is a royal lady. Not that hard to imagine her becoming a royal lady, so that's fine and good. But what is this with the lamp bit? What does that mean? <laughs> is it like the blue genie from Aladdin? Is it a djinn from like Magi? Like what, what do you mean a lamp? Or is it more Western in the sense of like, she creates electricity <laughs> in this society I, with her modern knowledge? I don't know. I have a lot of questions. One being, what did she do in her first life that got her burnt at the stake? That she felt the need to like repent for in her second life by saving as many people as she could? We still have a lot of questions because the first episode really wanted to, to nail home the fact that she is a really good doctor, which has been established, so yay. So with these questions in mind, how about we just jump on into this next episode and see what's gonna happen? Let's go. Oh. Awaiting her betrothal. Okay. Oh. Huh? Okay, that explains the royal lady part. Okay. Who is this voice? Oh, okay. Because of her own actions. Okay. So it's her fault, but. This owl is cute. Okay, so she's gathering information. Pretty typical so far. Oh, oh, just for defending her? Damn, what did she do? 47,000, Jesus. Oh. So there's a mysterious disease and an epidemic. God. <laughs> Okay, but so they're already setting down the foundation for her medical knowledge. Okay, yes, tell us about that. <gasps> of course she's in like the red too. Given how they painted her last episode, this feels like a completely different person. Which I guess is the point, right? So that's good. So it was 10 years. She's got 10 years after she gets married. Oh, on either side of him. Okay. Oh, he had a, like a soft spot for her? Oh. But now you can. <laughs> Just staring at him. <laughs> I like him. Okay. Okay. Oh. The betrothal? <laughs> of course, the slow mo. <gasps> the sparkles. <laughs> the sparkles. Oh, this hair's interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. They have like opposite, like their eye color and hair color are, like switched. Kind of. Doesn't say hi? Oh, she did love him. Eh? <laughs> oh. Okay. That was rude. <laughs> so she threw tantrums? Okay. But now, you can use your worldly knowledge. Why do they? Okay. I appreciate that this a king is like not the bad type of king. He's <laughs> just like, yeah, please do. He's, he sounds so sweet. He seems so sweet. 
Okay, I'm just gonna accept that this guy talks. This is the exposition character. <laughs> he just sighs. Bro, same. <laughs> oh, maybe she can poke at some of his medical concerns. Oh? If only medical diagnosis were this easy to come up with. <laughs> Are you now? I don't remember the name. Oh. Does it eat too many sweets? Oh, okay. So it's not something completely out of their medical realm. <laughs> Just not interested in drinking tea. Oh, oh yeah, she got in interrupted. She asked to cut the... Okay. Cut the engagement. <gasps> oh, damn. Are we already, like, halfway through this episode? Holy shit. Things change. People change. Quite literally, three times with her, in her case. Mm. But you just proved that you have experience beyond your years. I really want to know why the Emperor had a soft spot for her if she was such a villain as in her first life. He's gonna tell her to become a doctor? Oh! He's the, he's the one who makes the wager or the gamble. Ah. Damn. So like a year? Less than a year? Oh my god, okay. But she's gonna do it, of course. I mean, she already is, just not in this world. So... Did he fall for her right there? Is that what that was? Just because she wanted to doesn't mean she would have. Oh! Why are you acting like that? Are you just assuming that it? What? That's it? That's alright? Okay. <gasps> Why did underestimate her? Okay, so she's got a hospital to go to. Okay, cool. Wait, you're not gonna ask for an explanation? Oh my god. So cheesy. <gasps> Couldn't have grabbed her like a normal person, like just. No, he went. <sighs> the lights, the pedals, <sighs> the wind. It kind of doesn't feel like the story's moved along all that much, but it kind of has also. Okay, so Elise has taken a gamble because she's been like, I don't want to repeat of what happened last time, so uh, I'm gonna walk away. But then the, his majesty was like, no, how about we we uh, do an exchange, um, a gamble, and we'll see how you do. And so now she's got to become a full-fledged doctor. She's got to become a doctor in order to annul her engagement. And again, at least in my opinion, the story has been very, very upfront with how intelligent she is, how like remarkable how remarkable she is which which i'm not hating the fact that she's remarkable i'm i wish the story wouldn't be as heavy-handed in showcasing her remarkableness her intelligence you know i wish it would be a little more subtle but granted we are only in episode two she has just come back maybe like a couple days ago and so she's probably still just getting used to 
or she's probably just now figuring out what she's having to do. So I'm not like hating on how upfront it is or how heavy handed it is. It's just me personally, I prefer more like show, don't tell. So she's got six months to become a doctor. Turns out maybe her fiance didn't hate her. I guess. So until next time, let me know what you guys thought of this episode in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. Check out the socials, more anime and manga content. Check out Patreon for early access and longer episode reactions. Don't forget to drink some water and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye! Oh.